Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. We are trying to understand how to work with exponential equations, find their derivatives and second derivatives. The example which we have considered is that fish population in a lake after t months is given by p of t equals to 1000 divided by 1 plus 3 times e to the power of minus 0.5 t. In part a and b, we found how many fish are there to start with and we also found time taken for this population to be 75% of its maximum capacity. We also found that the capacity maximum is 1000 and the solution of t equals to 0, the number of fish to start with was 250, 1 fourth of 1000, 1000 divided by 1 plus 3. And now here we have part c which says find growth rate of the population after two months. So growth rate means derivative, right? So we know what p of t is. So this time we'll find the derivative of the function given to us. To find the derivative, we could actually write this function as, uh, as uh, you know, you could also write this function as uh, p of t equals to 1000 times 1 plus 3 uh, e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t everything to the power of minus 1. So in that case, you could use it as a product function also. So you can actually write this function in that form, product form. Apply the product rules and calculate the answer. That way you can do it. It's sometimes it's simpler, right? Now here, I will do with the quotient rule. Okay, so the derivative is derivative of the denominator and square of the denominator to begin with. 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t whole square. So that comes as the denominator. In the numerator, derivative of 1000 is 0. So we get 0 minus 1000 times derivative of denominator. Derivative of denominator should be, let me write that in brackets, so minus 0 0.5 t times 3 times 3 times e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t correct so that is the derivative of this particular function right so this is times let me write it in brackets okay so clearly uh, it is minus 1000 and within brackets 3 times this minus 0.5 gives me minus 1.5 okay uh, uh, okay there is no t here I'm sorry for that okay minus 1.5 and e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t right so that is in the numerator divided by 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t whole square now this minus and minus is indeed positive so we do have a positive growth rate here so the derivative is positive what let us say if any multiply by thousand one thousand five hundred so it is one thousand five hundred e to the power of minus zero point five t divided by one plus three times e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t whole square right that is what it is now what do you need you need to find growth rate of population after two months that means t is two t is in months two months so we say growth rate after two months is equals to substitute two here so we get 1500 e to the power of minus this is half 0.5 is half right so that you know is one Divide by 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 0 0.5 times 2 and that everything is squared, correct? That is how it is. Now we can use the calculator and calculate the answer, right? Let us rewrite this because we know this is 0.5 is half. So I could write this as 1500 e to the power of minus 1 divided by 1 plus 3 e to the power of minus 1 whole square right so that is how you could simplify 0.5 times 2 is 
1, right? So let's now calculate the answer using the calculator. So we have 1500 times e to the power of within brackets minus 1. That's the numerator and we need to divide this by that number. So let me use two brackets here. Within brackets I'll write 1 plus 3 times e to the power of minus 1. So we'll put that in brackets. Minus 1? Okay, not this one. Okay, so this becomes Okay, so this minus 1 bracket close and then we can close the bracket that is this bracket whole square and then bracket close so dividing by all this gives you 124.69 right so that is what it is so the growth rate at after two months is extremely high it is 124.69 right so you could uh, write this as as equals to let's say 124 numbers per month right so that is what the growth rate is right so that is how you can find the solution of this question i hope that helps in the next video we'll discuss the second derivative and find the time when the growth rate starts decreasing. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.